it's necessary to have a way to show the client or in the case that you're doing this for yourself, your own industry, what uh, the SAP solution is going to look like. So it's necessary to activate a solution and stand it up for visualization purposes during fit gap sessions. And this can be quite a task as our little friend shows us here. So what are we trying to do here? Well, in the end, we want to have a sandbox where we can configure the system and perform Rice FW development in such a way that the business can see how the S4 HANA solution will look. Now, to do that, SAP has us use SAP Solution Manager as the facilitator for configuration work. So SAP Solution Manager needs to be installed in one client, and it's configured to connect to a three-system landscape using the Manage Systems Configuration Wizard. Also, it's connected to the three-system landscape, the monitoring and alerting infrastructure, which monitors the performance of the system landscapes. So at the end of the day, you'll end up with a sandbox that stood up and it's technically set up, but without configuration. And the reason for that is because the configuration is going to take place as part of our fit gap analysis later on in this stage. Next, it's time to finalize the mandatory system prep steps. First, run post-conversion activities by module, such as data migration in FI, asset accounting, or postings in MM. Use your conversion guide as a checklist for steps required in your implementation and document the activities in Solution Manager. Solution Manager is very important through this process. It's your repository for the documentation of all steps that you take in the implementation. And it's also the gatekeeper for all transactions related to configuration. So be sure to keep track of everything that you do in Solution Manager so that later you'll have it available as a repository for knowledge and a reference point. If you're conducting a system conversion, the following steps are necessary. Use the Fiori app reference library to complete the Fiori preparation steps. First, connect the S4 gateway to the S4 HANA system. Create the Fiori users. Configure the SAP Web Dispatcher. Set up the Fiori Launchpad and the Launchpad Designer. And set up the generic configuration for Fact Sheet and the generic configuration for the Analytical App. And finally, review the basic security setup and configuration for the system. Now's a good time to take stock and make sure that your implementation is on the right course. So here we do a reconfirmation of the scope for the activation. Verify the business process scope as determined in prior steps. This will avoid a mismatch in process configuration. So by this time, you've gotten pretty far into the implementation and you have a good idea of what's going on. But now is when you want to take a look back and make sure that you've set up everything the way that you want it to and that you're on the right course for all of the business processes. So how do you do this? Well. Review the workshop activities from the discovery and preparation phases that preceded this phase and compare these with SAP's best practices. These can be found in Solution Manager Release 7.2 and also in the SAP Best Practices Explorer. If you're using the SAP model company, review the included documentation with that model company. The following steps are necessary for a new implementation. The sandbox for a new implementation comes with four clients. 100, which is a fully activated trial client. 200, which is best practices that are ready to be activated in the client. 300, with best practices fully activated that is a whitelist. And 400, with best practices fully activated and merged with client zero. It's a good idea to choose between 300 fully activated with all the best practices or turn on desired best practices as desired by using client 200. So in other words, you would review the best practices and then figure out what you wanted to activate in client 300. 
and check the administration guide to import the most recent best practices. If you choose the model company option, use the information provided in the handover workshop to activate.